Hello? Is anyone there? Oh, oh wow! I'm really glad we have our reflexes to help us duck so those bats don't hit our heads. Me too! Hey Shiba, do you know what bats, dolphins and whales have in common? Um, those are really different animals. I don't know. What do they have in common? They all have a special sense that humans don't have. Wait, you mean they have something besides the five senses of hearing, seeing, touching, tasting, and smelling? Yep. But what other senses could there possibly be? Well, their special sense uses echoes. Echoes are a special sense? No, 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 no. The special sense is called echolocation. Echolocation is the ability of some animals to send out sounds into their environment and then listen to the echoes of those sounds to locate and identify other objects around them. If an echo comes back faster, then that means that there is an object that's close. If an echo takes a long time to come back, then that means the object is far away. Why don't dolphins, whales, and bats just use the sense of sight to see where the objects are? Oh man, that's a great question, Shiba. Now let me show you some of the places where dolphins, whales, and bats live. Do you think it is easy for them to see the world around them? Mm, well, maybe not. The bats are flying at night when it's dark outside, and even during the day, they live in dark caves where mm. there is not a lot of light. Dolphins and whales often swim deep below the surface of the ocean where there is very little light. It's probably really hard for them to see down there. Yeah, you're right. And because there is not a lot of light for them to sense, they adapted to have another way to sense objects in the environment around them. Echolocation. Even some rats have learned to echolocate because they are nocturnal and they move around at night when there is not a lot of light. Rats, yuck. Well, rats may not be your favorite animal, Shiva, but they have to be able to sense the world around them too. And since they can't use light to help them, some species of rats, like the brown rat, use echolocation to see with sound. So, echolocation is like seeing, but using sound instead of light. Exactly. Oh. I have a song that helps me to remember how echolocation works. Do you want to hear it? Of course. Whales, dolphins, bats and rats, bats and rats, bats and rats, Whales, dolphins, bats, and rats have a way to see at night. When there is not a lot of light, a lot of light, a lot of light. When there's not a lot of light, they send out sounds that bounce. When echoes come back so fast, back so fast, back so fast. When echoes come back so fast, they know that something's close. When echoes take too long, Take too long, take too long. When a cost take too long, they know the cost is clear. I love that song. That really explains echolocation so well. I wish I could echolocate. Can you imagine? It would be so cool. But animals always adapt to the environment they live in. Humans live where there is plenty of light. And so we use our sense of sight to see the world. In fact, humans have one of the strongest senses of sight in the whole animal kingdom.